Would you oh my rather <laughs> cast a show about talented animals oh or gosh. cast a show about talented babies? <laughs> you know, there is a saying in Hollywood, I don't work with animals or children, children uh -huh. or animals. Yep. Um, True I will say, I, I did work, when I lived in Australia, I worked with about 22 12 to 18 month year olds. Um, and it was a journey of a lifetime. Um, but it also was like daddy boot camp for me, right? When like, when I have kids, like I'm excited that I have that experience under my belt. 22 um, of them? <laughs> You're right? yeah. I mean, God. just call me, uh, just call me Uh <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, okay, and I have worked with a lot of animals, um, but I've never done an animal show. So this is a really interesting one for me. Um, <laughs> You know, the crazy person inside of me says, I would love to work on a show about about talented babies. Okay, talented babies. That, yeah, because I love animals, but I haven't done a show about with, with any babies. So okay. it'll be a new challenge. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. So phone's going to call awesome. tomorrow and it's going to be Gerber, baby, like company. Be like, hey, we got a project for you. <laughs> Look, it might happen. It could happen. Anything could is happen. possible. Okay. Gerber Things, the new hit show. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> he can cry in a high E. All right, here's that <laughs> Okay, would, would you rather compete on Alter Ego on, or compete on Next Level Chef? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, first of all, quick shout out, Alter Ego, catch up if you can, 2B, Fox Now. Um, I love Alter Ego. It was, again, one of my, I, that was a project of mine near and dear. We cast it, we, we I produced it. Next Level Chef um, is right after I Can See Your Voice on Fox um, and such an incredible show. Gordon Ramsay just, you know, being Gordon Ramsay. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well. Okay. So I have to boil this down to like what my talent would be. And I told you, vodka soda unlocks the rock star in me. So Hi. I would probably say alter ego because I probably would be confident if I didn't have to go on stage because I would just get nervous. Okay. But I'm not that good of a cook, so I would say probably <laughs> consider an alter ego. Okay. Alter ego. Yeah. Alter ego. I, yeah. I, I I do make a really good. Um, uh, delivered pizza. So oh, that would be my oh, the best. Yeah. Oh, I expected that, you to say egg and waffles. Oh, yeah. egg and waffles. Yeah, I make a good toaster right. strudel. So oh, uh, there perfect. You go. Yep, you're hired. Done. All right. Chef. <laughs> All right. Would you rather recast The Breakfast Club with modern actors or recast Clue with modern actors? Ooh. Okay. Well, no shade to Breakfast Club. But I would say probably Clue because of the mystery, that like element of, you know, it's not horror, but it's like horror. You know what I mean? It's got like, I used to have a, two games I used to play all the time as kids Clue, and I was always Miss Scarlet. And no, <laughs> um, I was um, Professor Plum. But I also had this um, board game called 13 Dead End Drive. Do you guys ever play it? Yes. I it, believe was like, we had. it was like, it was like a marriage between. Um, mouse trap and clue, mm -hmm. and it was like there was different things. So like if you if you land on the fireplace, then you got like flipped into the fireplace and you died. It was actually kind of morbid <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for children. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so I would say clue um, for sure. Okay, flames. I, I probably know <sighs> that entire movie backwards and forwards, like literally yeah. every word of that movie. Well, really? Tim Curry. We watched everything with him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, such we a love. Legend. We yeah. live. All right. Here's mm -hmm. the next one. Would you rather, ooh, enter your dogs into a fashion show <laughs> or enter your dogs into a Westminster dog show? Speaking of dogs, oh I don't know if you can Okay. Well, first of all, wait, hold on. I have to be the proud dad, right? I have to show a photo of my dogs. Yes, so that way as everybody you should. Has context. Mm -hmm. So here is Baron Pepper. <laughs> wait, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Good? Okay. So who, who, who is who? I, I don't want to assume. Bear is the big husky and Pepper is the little um, black terrier. Okay. Um, okay, so now that we know that we're going to be dealing with those two little beauties, um, mm -hmm. fashion show or Westminster dog show? I would have to say fashion show because I don't, I think that they're, <laughs> Bear is much more, when Bear is my partner's, I mean, you know, quote unquote, my partner's dog and then mine, Pepper's my dog. Um, but I would say that we would probably be better with them in fashion than okay. in Westminster, like tricks and and yeah, all of the 
properness. Plus, look at that dog with like it looks like a mom. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I know. Um, yeah. Like, who anyway, doesn't want I would to see say, a dog in a beret? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> and I can just think all of the different like like arrows we could go through. I'm seeing them, like an yes. Austin Powers look. I'm seeing yes. like a in a, in a seventy, you know, just like some something for every you know every era. Decade. Uh, yeah. Fair. Good. Oh, good yes. answer. All right. Sold. All right. <laughs> I think this one's you, Dan. Oh, that's me. Okay. Hi, uh, yes. So, Logan, would you rather wear a Canadian tuxedo to ev to a prospective? Well, I feel like I'm wearing that shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine that, but also with jeans and a denim jacket over it. Yes. So, would you rather okay. wear a Canadian tuxedo to a prospective client meeting or wear a velour tracksuit to a prospective client meeting? Okay. So I feel like. The one on the right is Katy Perry's dad. Like that is what Katy Perry's dad works wears all the time. Okay. Um, I I feel like because I have more pieces of the Canadian tuxedo that I would have to go a Canadian tuxedo. And I also feel like there's some people in LA that like get away with it, but I don't know if I can get away with a tracksuit. Plus, okay. I can never find a tracksuit that I'm six foot eight, so right. I can never find a tracksuit that is in my size. Ever. Well, we'll have to get it custom created. And custom made, yeah. <laughs> like we'll a have, custom, custom blower. We'll have, this is where Seth is watching, and he'll, he'll send me a, a custom tracksuit afterwards. Okay. Um, <laughs> from I can Stop. see your voice costuming department. Oh, oh my gosh. I Shout out. Very comfortable, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Can I even start a story really quick? Now that yes, I just brought something up, Which is, we all had a vision for what you were going to be wearing. All me? of us had a vision. Yes, you on the oh. show. <laughs> okay. Like we all had like this vision of. Oh, my AirPods are about to die. Hold on, let me see what I've. Can you still hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna charge this one while we're talking. So, um, we all had a vision of like what you were. Can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. So we all had a vision of what you were going to be wearing on the show, and we all had like different ideas, and we had like a mood board, right? Of like, oh, like you know, like this, like this, like this. And we weren't seeing anything come in that we we're like really excited about. And so I went home one night and I just started looking up like rhinestone ones. I don't remember what the term was. I was look. I was googling all this stuff, right? <laughs> or, 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 or Amazon because I was looking on Amazon, 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 Amazon. The next day, Jesse calls me, and he's like, "So our whole search history is of like this, like." diamond rhinestone like one <laughs> like what's going on logan like what are you <laughs> like, uh you're a man of my heart. <laughs> yeah it was like all this like women i don't want to say lingerie because it wasn't lingerie but it was like all these women's like like performance tops and um just like and then the billy porter thing happened and it was a whole yeah so let, let me tell you this the, the, one of the biggest questions that i've gotten since the show is if people can borrow the jacket that i wore which i have to then sadly let them down and tell them i did not get to keep the jacket because <laughs> i would probably be wearing it right now i was oh, gonna no, say I, did I'm you so get to keep it. the jacket or no you didn't get to keep the jacket no no i didn't get to keep the jacket well we'll <laughs> no. figure that out we'll find the jacket and we'll we'll send it to you i'll say that now and somebody will yell at me for saying that later but we'll no find joke it. she would literally wear that every day like i, <laughs> I, I, I had to pull shocked. it up because i couldn't remember what she wore so i'm looking at it right now it was that it was that um it's like multicolor like rainbow multicolor yeah exactly yeah. All right, yeah. we'll work on it. We'll work I, on I it. I live, I live oh, in okay. sequence. Okay. All right. <laughs> Got a couple more questions. Back okay, to cool. you. Okay. Would you rather cast someone based solely on reading their resume or cast someone based solely on their voice? So you're not looking at them. You can't hear them. You can't see them. I would only hear their singing voice or their speaking voice. Speaking voice. Oh, Mm. Well, I would have to say the voice, simply because it gives me more of a dynamic than a piece of paper. I have had so many, unfortunately, um, interviews with prospective producers, you know, AP, whatever, um, that look great on paper, but um, didn't pop in the room. So I would mm -hmm. hope that I would, my spidey senses would be able to pick up on their voice that they would be exciting and dynamic and they would you know have the energy mm -hmm. behind their 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 vocals okay um I but will i will say, say i've been surprised by by that happening like i've you know in speaking to to people and you know especially casting people working with a lot of actors trying to cast for musicals and things like that where you go there's no way that that kid can hit an, a high e 
And like me, probably, you probably wouldn't know that I can probably, I think I hit an F last time I actually went to a vocal coach. Wow. It was kind That's of amazing. ridiculous. And it's yeah. like hearing somebody's speaking voice is so sometimes not indicative of how they actually sing. That is, Ooh. it's so strange, especially when you think about people that have like accents um, mm -hmm. where it's like somebody that has a British accent, you would never know when they're singing a, an English song because Americans and Brits and Aussies and the Irish, like everybody sounds the same. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. So I it's very strange. Off. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also you brought up a good point with this, with this question, which is, um, or a good point, which is the casting process for I Can See Your Voice. Um, you know, I don't see anything until um, the producers have talked to the potential secret voices. And the way that the tapes are put together is it starts off with a clip of them lip syncing. And then it's a, um, a, a clip of them talking about who they are. And then it's a graphic of are they good or are they bad? So we play the game as producers and executives and we pitch them that way just to see if we can even in the casting stage pull the wool over the eyes. So I don't often get to see or, or know if people are good or bad until we do those casting tapes, um, which is a lot of fun for me too. But um, so that's why when you said about their voice, I was like, I kind of do this already with I Can See Your Voice where right. we just try and you know pull the trigger based on on their singing voice. But um, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good question. And um, I, yeah, I would say voice, I guess. Done. All right, we got a couple more, Logan. We don't want to keep you too much longer. No, you know, you got to and so. All right. Well, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. So would you rather see an Andrew Lloyd Webber production of Dogs or see a Shakespearean adaptation directed by Lin-Manuel Miranda? Oh, my gosh. Well, first of all, hats off to, like, whoever's writing these questions because they're so good. It's us. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> these two. These two right here. Yeah, um, yeah. I would say that I would do. I just saw Hamilton for the first time. It was amazing. Yep. So I would go a Shakespearean adaptation, a hundred percent. Because while I would be interested to see what Andrew Lloyd Webber did with dogs, um, <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm still scarred by Jennifer Hudson and uh, you know James Corden in <laughs> the Cats movie. Um, but so, Sir Sir Ian McKellen, though, somehow, I don't know how he did it, but it was as if he broke out of that CGI and was like, I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm fantastic, amazing. yeah. It was yeah. insane. Uh, yeah. I, I also would say that um, uh, it would have to go with an asterisk that um, James Corden wouldn't be allowed to be in the Shakespeare oh, adaptation. No. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll find a way. He will find a he way. He always finds a way. Always. He dresses up and he just weasels his way in. Have you seen the whole protest about him not being in Wicked? I have, yes, yeah. and I did sign it. You did. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know who would he be—the wizard? I, I don't know. Okay, I don't. Well, it's not even put that on the universe. No, right? it's not. It's no, not happening. No, no. It is not. No. Nope. Nope. All right. Nope. <laughs> Here's the next one. Okay, would you rather? Ooh, have the ability to teleport or the ability to read minds? Hmm. Depends on the day of the week. Um, I would say the ability to read minds is very appetizing. However, I would say the ability to teleport because I just, I don't live close to my family. And so it would be great to just like sneeze and be at the dining room table and then sneeze <laughs> and be back to my desk. Um, oh, so you have so. to sneeze with it is, is what I'm getting. Oh yeah, that's, of that. course. Yeah, we have right. to absolutely see it. Okay. Um, got it. But, got it. but yeah, I would say the ability to teleport, right? Sure. Yeah. Wait, what would you guys it. choose? I want to know what you, on this one, what you guys would choose. Teleport. I don't want to oh, know right. what anyone's thinking, especially my husband. So I'm like, I'm <laughs> teleport. I think, I think I'm on that same page. Yeah. I think it's, you know, people's minds are much more dangerous than we think. Mm. And I don't know that I, I mean, I watch enough true crime as it is. I don't know if I want to know the actual depths of human depravity. Right. I think I just want to like go other places. <laughs> like, right, right, right. Yeah. But if it's animals, that would be a different scenario. Oh, like if yeah. I could talk that's, to, yeah. That's, yeah, I agree 100%. with that 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Because sugar <laughs> gliders are weird. And so I, I, I'm i confused. So I'm, I'd, I'd like to know what my, what my glider babies are thinking. All right. I think we got one more, right, Danica? Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Would you rather 
have a panel of celebrity judges from the 1950s or a panel of celebrity judges from the 1980s? Oh my gosh, this is a tough one. I'm assuming for, for I can see your voice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I would say have a panel of celebrities from the 1980s. I mean, I just think it was such a, not that the 50s wasn't um, a fun era, but I think it was a different, I mean, obviously it's a different era, but it's there's something that's just like, I think leans into the creative and the like songs and the artists that we often are able to explore on the show that I think would be a little more cohesive than um, like the catalogs of, you know, Temptations, Elvis, mm-hmm. you know, that I will say though, this season, we do have um, uh, some, some music that does expand into um, a, a wider selection of eras. So we just yeah, try to crack the, 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 the catalog open a little bit more. Oh, I'm very excited for that.